This is Lesson 8, Homework, Module 7, Second Grade. Don't forget your name. These are all word problems involving the total value of a group of bills. Uh, this first one says Mr. Chang has four $10 bills, three $5 bills, and six $1 bills. How much money does he have in all? So we're gonna, these are all word problems, so we're gonna draw pictures for them. RDW, read first. We just read that we're going to figure out how much he has in all. We're gonna end up counting all this or adding it. So let's just draw the picture. A lot of times it saves us some work. And you're gonna have to do it four $10 bills. <clears throat> four $10 bills, three fives. Six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. I like to draw five group rows so I can make ten frames out of them. And if you wanted, you could just count all this. Uh, just count your picture, or you could uh, you could add it up by uh, these are tens and say you could, you could say you have forty. Right, 10, 20, 30, 40, and you have 5, 10, 15. You're going to add your 5s, 15, and then you know you have 6 1s, so that's going to be plus 6, and you could add those together. 40 plus 15, that's 55, and 6 more, $61. You could also just count it 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 61, Mr. Chang has $61 in all. At her yard sale, Danielle got one $20 bill. She's got a 20 and five one dollar bills last week so then she's got one two three four five ones this week so this is last week last week and this week l for last t for this week she got three tens three ten dollar bills and five three i'm sorry three five dollar bills so three tens one, two, three, and three fives. Five, five, five. What's the total amount she got for both weeks? So for both weeks, we're just going to count all of it. We could just count it. We just drew it. We could use the picture. Um, that's a ten. Uh, or we could, uh, you know, we could write a number sentence and add it up. So we have a twenty. Plus these, one, two, three, four, five, five, plus that's 30, and three fives is 15, and we could add it up like that. And say that this is, this 15 has five, that's a 20. So we have 20, 40, and then 30 more, that's going to be $70. Or we could just count it. 20. 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 50. Danielle got a total of $70. Patrick has two fewer $10 bills than Brenna. Patrick has $64. How much money does Brenna have? All right, well, this, is, this could be a pretty good one for a tape diagram. Patrick has two fewer $10 bills than Brenna. We know Patrick has $64. How much money does Brenna have? 
So we could just, we could draw a tape diagram for this, or we could draw a money picture. So let's see, um, Patrick has 64. We know Patrick has 64. 64, and that's Patrick. Uh, he has two fewer $10 bills than Brenna. If he has fewer or less, then Brenna has to have more. So Brenna's going to have to have more. There's Brenna. Uh, and we know how much more. Patrick has two fewer 10s. So if he has two fewer 10s, that's $20, right? It's a 10. You should make it look like money here. A 10 and a 10. How much money does Brenna have? Brenna has all of that. She's got the 64 plus the two tens. All together, Brenna has 64, 74, 80. She's got $84. Brenna has $84. You could also have done this by just drawing the money. I mean, if you're counting 10, you know you need $10 bills. Patrick has two, you know, Patrick has 64. You could just, you could have drawn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, these are all tens. And one, two, three, four. And this is this can all be like Patrick's money. And you know, he has two fewer tens, so Brenna has all of this plus two more tens. And then you could just count all of it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. And you could have just done just like that too.